Hey guys, Tweakers here and welcome to the first video on this channel. We're going to be talking about the best game guides, PC optimization guides, FPS guides and a lot more. So if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And let's start with the first video that is how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Red Dead Redemption 2. And with all that said, let's get started with the video. Step number one is the best window settings and for that you need to open up settings on your PC and once you are over here you have to go to gaming and then go over to game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling it will help you to improve your performance. Right after that go back and click on game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. Game mode will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background such as notification and services that will help you to improve your FPS as well. Right beneath that, go over to graphic settings and over here click on change default graphic settings, then enable both of these options that will help you to improve your GPU utilization as well as reduce your input latency. Right after that, go back to graphics and now you have to open up the browse button and then go to the installation location of Red Dead Redemption 2. Once you find your application, simply add rdr2.exe. Simply click on add right over here. I've already added it to the list. Now what you have to do is simply go to options and then click on high performance right over here. Now you have to open up the browse button once again. Click on play rdr2 and add this thing as well. Select high performance over here as well. Once everything is done, you can simply click on the close button. Next step is system configuration and for that you need to simply search for MS config on your system or system configuration right over here. Then go over to the boot section, click on advanced option, click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. This will help you to utilize all of your cores while booting up your PC and also improve your gaming performance in the long run. Simply click on OK. Then you have to go over to services section, select hide all Microsoft services and right over here you have to deselect all of the unwanted services such as Adobe, your fan controls, browser update services, printer services that you do not frequently use. Once you're done applying that, simply click on apply. Next step is setting up your virtual memory and this is really important. You have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows, then go over to the advanced section, then for processor scheduling select programs and for virtual memory click on change. Now for this you need to open up your calculator as well right after this screen. Now you have to open up system information on your PC and then look for your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. It could be different for you, so you need to multiply your installed physical memory with 1024 and you'll get this number. This is your total memory size in megabytes. Now you have to remove your commas and divide this thing by 2. Now you have to copy this whole value and paste it in the maximum size and then simply click on set. This will set your virtual memory. You have to simply click on OK and then close performance option and that is done. Next step is disabling memory compression and this will also help you to improve your performance and get better FPS in RDR2. Now for that you need to search for PowerShell on your PC and simply run this thing as an administrator. Now once you are over here you have to paste this command that is get MM agent and simply press enter. This will give you your memory compression. If this is set to true, you need to set this thing to false. Now to disable your memory compression, you need to paste this command right over here. This command will help you to disable your memory compression and it will also help you to free up your memory and it will disable unnecessary memory consuming services in the background that will give you better FPS. Now once again, if you do not like this, you can always change this disable back to enable and that will enable your MM agent. Now next step is creating a restore point and this is really essential. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Once you are over here, you have to look for a local disk C and simply click on create. Now name this RDR2 just so you can remember it from and I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore every settings back to normal without any data loss, you can use this. Now next step is RDR2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys can simply open this pack up and you'll find in 5 simple folders. And in here you'll find AMD and Intel priority. Now I currently use an AMD CPU so I need to run the AMD CPU priority. But if you guys use Intel CPU, you can run the Intel CPU priority. Next folder is the RAM optimization and in here I have left a ton of presets you guys can choose from. 
I currently use 32 GB RAM, so I need to run this one. If you're using different variant of RAM, you can choose from the list over here. And once again, if you want to restore the settings, if you don't like it, you can always reset them back to default. Next is the GPU optimization, where I have left low med and med high optimization. I would require GPU and your CPU specifications in the comments, and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from. So do leave your specs down in the comments below. Once again, I've also left default back to registries. So if you guys don't like it, you can always report them back now here's a command line.txt you need to copy this string and then open up steam and once you are on this page you have to right click on it go to properties and then paste this launch option right over here and then close it next folder is the rdr2 priority and i have left a rdr2 high priority and this will set your game priority to the maximum level so you can utilize your pc's maximum performance for playing this game you need to double click and run this thing as well lastly is the msi utility v3 and in here you have to run this thing as an administrator now once it opens up you'll find a list of the drivers on your pc now over here you have to locate your gpu click on the msi button in front of it and from undefined set this thing to high and not just this you also have to set this priority for both of the usb extensible host controllers so simply do that on them as well select high over here and high over here as well once it is done simply click on apply and then close msi utility and once everything is done hop into your game and follow the best in game settings okay once you are in your game press your escape key and then go over to settings then once you're here click on graphics and then you will come to this page now you have to set your output monitor to the native monitor and your resolution should be your native desktop resolution your screen type should always be set to full screen and after that you have to click on apply changes next is your refresh rate you have to set this thing to the highest possible according to your monitor then your vsync should always be turned off and your nvidia reflex low latency should always be enabled plus boost triple buffering and all three of these options should be turned off right after that you have to scroll down to the graphic settings and then your graphic preset quality level scroll your quality preset level to favor performance and then your texture quality should be set to medium anisotropic filtering of lightning quality low global illumination low shadow quality low far shadow quality low then you will have the screen space ambient occlusion set this thing to off reflection quality you have to set this thing to low mirror quality medium water quality low volumetric quality low particle quality low tessellation you have to set this thing to low this is super important then nvidia dlss set this thing to performance or else you can use amd fsr 2.0 I currently use NVIDIA DLSS since it is best for FPS. The sharpening should be set just a little bit over here. Then scroll down until you find the advanced graphics settings. Make sure that this is unlocked. Graphics API set this thing to Vulkan. Near volumetric resolution set this thing to low, low and low for all of these. These are super important. Right off that, you also have to set this thing to off. Then comes the particle lightning quality, set this thing to medium. Soft shadows, have to set this thing to medium. Grass shadows, low, long shadows, off. Full resolution, screen space ambient occlusion, off. Water refraction quality, low. Water reflection quality, low. Water physics quality, set this thing to normal. Your motion blur should be set to off. MSAA, off. Then you have the geometry level of detail set this thing to max and the grass level of detail to one tick above the minimum. Then your tree quality should be medium, parallax, occlusion, mapping quality set this thing to low, decal quality, low, fur quality, medium, tree tessellation off. Once all of that is done, press your enter key and these are the best settings for best FPS in your RDR2. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We will be coming out with more amazing videos on Tweakers. So stick around. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Tweakers and peace out.